One of the things I never really liked about handing over a brand new Joomla website to a customer was that if all they needed to do was update and create new articles, I still needed to give them access to the back end. And let's face it, that can be confusing. Well, let's see if we can fix that in today's video. Well, of course there's a solution for that. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at Joomla Shack's Shack article extension that allows you to give a front-end view to all of your articles to whomever you wish. All right, let's dive in and take a look. Well, the extension I'm talking about is Shack Article Manager, and it's from Joomla Shack. There is a free version and a paid version, and basically what it gives you is the ability to manage your articles on the front end, filter and search for them, basically do all of the administration features right from the front end, even change the URL, and create new articles. Because honestly, sometimes you just don't want to give everybody access to the back end of your Joomla website. As I mentioned, there's a free version, and the pro version gives you really great support from the Joomla Shack team. So I have this component installed on a live site, and here's what it looks like on the front end. This is a small town near where I live. I help manage the site. And if I head over to the back end, there is a component, as I mentioned, but there's nothing there except the credits to the people who wrote the software. To make Shack articles work, all you need is a menu. Now, on this particular site, I have an administration menu for when administrators are logged into the front end. And I've added a menu called, well, Manage Articles. It's a Shack article manager menu, and there are a number of options. If I click on Category Options, do I want to show all the categories? If I click No, it asks me to select just the categories of the articles I'm going to allow a front-end editor to edit. I can include or not include subcategories, and I can restrict article creation to the selected categories. And that is honestly really, really smart. Do I want to allow the new article option to be shown? Well, yes. If I say yes, do I want to rename that? If I copy an article, should it keep the current date? Or go to today. And if I copy an article, should it keep the original author or the current user? Again, really smart. I can turn on and off certain elements of the filters. So on this particular site, we don't track the author, so we hide that one. And we only have one language, so that's hidden as well. In the table layout options, I can hide or show any of the table columns that I want. So again, on this particular site, we don't really need to know the ID of any articles, but we obviously need to know the title. We need to know if it's published. We don't feature articles on this site, so we've hidden that. Show the category column, hide the author and author alias, hide the language column. We want to show the publishing and finished publishing columns. Hide the hit column, well, and you see the rest. Finally, on extra permission options, again, this is really smart. Users can publish their articles. If this is turned on, and if the published column is being shown, users can publish and unpublish articles. Users can feature their articles if it's turned to yes. Users can trash their articles. Users can view other articles in available categories. This one's important. If set to yes, users without publishing rights can edit their already published articles. So I've got all of those set to no because on this particular site, everybody logs in as an administrator. All right, I'm going to hit Save and Close. And now you can see how this looks. If I want to filter by text, I can just put the text in and click Go. I can reset. I can show all the articles from the About category. And I can find any unpublished articles. On this site, we don't have any at this point. And if I click on one, it takes me to the article. If I click the Edit link, well, guess what? It takes me to an edit screen that's full screen with all of the options that the user would have in the back end right here in the front end. Well, that's just terrific. I'm going to click Cancel. And of course, it takes me right back to my article manager. I can even send an article to Trash. Well, for sure, 
that gives me a whole lot more confidence in allowing a customer to update their own website without having to go into the back end and get confused by all of the stuff that's in the Joomla administrative interface. Well, I hope that's been helpful today. It's a terrific extension. Thanks for joining me. This is OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Hey, take a second, hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next OS Tips.